Are you filming now? Yeah. Because this whole f up should be filmed. Oh, I film it all. Good. All right. So you guys keep f***ing up. Yeah, just we'll f***ing it up. <laughs> yeah, keep f***ing right, it up, please. All right, I am going to suggest that we set this here and we lift it up on here, just like, or we can lift it up and Cat can push it in. Let's get, get us the right thing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna levitate it out? <laughs> All right. Hi, this is Kevin Deal from Upscale Audio, and I'm here with Kat Orlin. Hi. And we are gonna unbox the new Western Electric 91E. Yay, it's finally here. It was here and Kat was about to open it. Then other people started to open it. Actually, we almost damaged it because these son of a, you know what, <laughs> they, you have to pry it open from the bottom. We didn't know that. So I went to pick it up to move it with a Mr. 420 and we almost damaged it, but we did not. And then we found out it's actually packed inside this crate even further. Dang. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I talked to Charles Whitener. We're going to have the... Um, amps in in three colors. We're going to have the tubes in in stock. I'm a big Western Electric fan way back from uh, the old days. I'm uh, one of the only people that has actually owned uh, vintage Western Electric amplifiers in my collection of stuff over the years and vintage Western Electric tubes. Uh, and so I, this amp is all the I mean, our service team was geeking over Western Electric. Everyone's geeking about yeah. it, right? I mean, we're like just super excited. So we thought, okay, why not show people what they get in the box? So it comes in this crate, and then you got to pry it on the bottom, which I did not want to mess up my nail. So I asked Kat to do it. Yeah. Yeah, right? And then I think we're going to try to lift this up. Yeah. I hope, right? Yeah, I got a corner. There you we got go. a corner? Yeah. And then. Damn, Dina. We'll go for oh it. Oh my God. Well, this isn't what I expected exactly. Because we have no idea what to expect. Oh, wow. Okay. And then there is a nice letter here. Da 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 da. By the way, I'm going to be, uh, I have to go get a knee replaced. But before I go to get that done, I plan to try to get over to the Western Electric factory to take a tour where they're going to show us where they make the amps and where they make the tubes. That's badass. And oh, it's really badass. I've been to a, a tube factory before of sorts. It is a very, very difficult business. All right, let's see what you get here. Do you, do you think they'll make 300 beat earrings for me? <laughs> I think we need to make Western Electric shirts. That would be ask really them cool. About that, I mean, I, I suspect that they're going to be making them, but I'd oh, like to wow. make them with a Western Electric, with an upscale audio twist to them. See, I, almost I mean, like frame this. That. Yeah. I mean, I almost right? want to frame that. I mean, I would put this on a shirt. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Hold that up. I'd wear that. Would you? It matches with my Sonic Youth. That's. I guess. Stupid. All right, here we go. Okay. Pre-flight checklist. Bingo. I can't even read this. Aww. Owner's manual, warranty card. They even give you an envelope. Yeah. Spanner tool for transformer block. I'm telling you, this thing has got a lot of options on it too. I mean, this is the very first one we've gotten, but I've been reading a lot about how it functions. Oh, wow. I'm actually, I'm going to take my rings off for this. You should always take your rings and jewelry, jewelry off, off because if you don't, you're going to end up scratching your equipment. Yeah. Right? And I have to get on my employees about that. Ain't nobody want to. Ain't nobody wants scratch that. Scratch their new stuff. No. Okay. This must be. That's the tubes, I'll bet. Glass handle with care. Yep. Okay. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh my God. That's ah! so cool. <laughs> what is that for? I have no idea what to expect here, okay? Kevin, you love this right I now. I love this shit right now. <laughs> see the component. What is in here? I don't know what this is. Uh, this is this might be for 
uh, the transformers for the funnel stage. I don't know. There's the power core. There's, uh, oh man, how cool is this? Okay. I'm just okay. geeking out. All right, you want to be the person that opens up the tubes? I mean, I can. I feel like you should, though. Okay. All right. I'm excited for you. Yeah. Oh, my. Okay. If you've never seen Western Electric 300Bs and how they are packaged. Now, oh, I don't man. know if they're doing these the same way. Oh, they are. Ah. Is this like OG Western Electric? Uh, this is like OG Western Electric. Is there a telephone in there? <laughs> no. Well, yeah, we'll talk about the history of the 300B and the history of Western Electric and uh, follow-up videos. There you go. Oh my gosh. One match pair of Western Electric 300Bs. Gorgeous. Oh, God, I love it. Okay, there oh, it is. Oh, wow. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful and void then stickers. If this is like the old ones, well, I'm gonna have to open this up because this is gonna be used for display. Actually, I'm. The box smells I'm good. taking this home. I told my wife, Miss Laura, that this weekend I was gonna show her a good time. <laughs> what? And you're gonna move some 300 bees in, huh? I am. I am. I'm gonna actually bring the Zam home. <laughs> and uh, play some tunes with my wife. She's I, used to it. I know. When my wife's cool. Yeah. Right? She's so cool. Okay. Date code. The 26th week. Those are so cool looking. The 26th week of 2022. I mean, look at that too. Oh my God. You're uh, beautiful. They, uh, they are beautiful. Oh. God, all right. Well, I'm geeking out on just the tube here. Okay, what else we got? Oh. I'm gonna put those there to keep them safe. Nothing in there. Okay. I. <gasps> ah! Uh oh, use handles to carefully remove amplifier. Okay, white gloves recommended. I got one. And then uh, Kat and I can do our Marceau Marceau. Jazz. Is that it? <laughs> I was thinking, didn't he have white gloves? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy shit. Look at that. I know. Look at the metal work. Sorry, I don't want to swear. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna put your watch and ring over here. Oh, thanks. Because we're going to set Yeah, because we're gonna set the okay. amp over on the crate here. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh God dang, Dina. Wow. Oh, oh man. yeah. What is this, the nickel finish? Oh, uh, I... Forget what they call this finish. They make them in three colors. Uh, black, then like a champagne, gold, and then this color which I Can I like. get a knife just to do a uh, clean cut? Okay. Yeah, please. Let me take it out there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Dang. Look at this workmanship. Oh my God. I mean, look. Holy crap. This unit set to 120 volts. The 91E. E. Holy shit. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot of that. Can oh you get my it? God. It's like when you see scenery yeah. for the first time, like something gorgeous and it just, the Oh my God, I thought they did this in plastic. It's glass. It's glass. Holy. Because I saw uh, another company that did something like this, uh, where they had the, the tube inside of a, a container. But when they did it, the container was made of acrylic. And so it was all fine and dandy when it was brand new, but then after a period of time, it just did not uh, look good. This will last. You know, just like this finish will oh last. I mean, look at the. Does it have a built-in phono? 
Uh, oh, it, it does. does. There are modules that you purchase. There's a lot to talk about here, and we're going to talk about it because this is a very, 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 very special product. But we're going to cover that in a video after I take this home and wow my wifey with it. Yeah. So, what do you think, Kat? I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. I, yeah. Yep. It's such a, it's a work of art. It is a work of art. It's and incredible. Uh, experts that I know have told me in no uncertain terms that this is one of the best sounding amps they've ever heard. And I'm telling you, uh, if you've got a pair, I don't care if you've got some high efficiency Klipsch, Tannoy, Spatials, uh, but you know, there's all kinds of Zingali and these other really super crazy uh, high efficiency systems. Scratch what I just said. This is not just for high efficiency speakers. This speaker is a KLH Model 3. What's the sensitivity of the speaker? About 87 dB. 87, 88 dB, something yeah. like that. And it's kind of a hard to drive speaker. And how did it work? I was shocked. I didn't even do it on purpose. And it sounded incredible. It sounded I, we just weird. tossed them because this was what was in the sound room. Right, yeah. And it's blowing our minds. Back to the video. A pair of Tannoys, though, right? Oh my God. A pair of Kensingtons or Canterbury's. Uh, or Westminster's, how would this rock effortless with a, a pair of Westminster's? Oh my god, right? I mean, it's just such a cool, <clears throat> and then you and then like those two companies together, exactly, just like That's hanging what I'm out, talking about. yeah, yep, 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 done. Or if you got some vintage stuff, some old Altex, there's lots of old speakers yeah. that'll work well with this. So, look, come back to our YouTube channel, we're going to be doing more on this stuff, <clears throat> and then we're going to play it and have fun with it, and we're going to take it apart show you the insides, show you what makes this such a unique amp. So, Upscale Audio, what do we do at CAT? We're gonna treat your system like it's ours. <laughs> right, thank you. Bye.